Bessie, check it out. More diamonds. Let's go, boys. Did you guys hear that? Don't worry, Bessie. I'm gonna go check it out. It came from over here. What is that? Oh my gosh, dude, that is definitely not the warning. Today, my Minecraft world has been taken over by SCP creatures. Each time I find and kill an SCP, I can collect its heart to get brand new powers like this. Will I be able to find them all and defeat the god of all SCPs? So Bessie, you're telling me that I'll figure out why all of the SCPs took over our world if I go in that ginormous laboratory. All right, here goes nothing. This place is massive. Whoa, who is that? You must collect all of the hearts from my SCPs in order to challenge me. What was that? Where'd Bessie go? Bessie, come back and tell me what just happened. I didn't even realize that I only have one heart. Let's go gear up before I try to find the first SCP. Turn them to plunk, into stunks, into big stick, and we're ready to go. It didn't take me long to find the first SCP. Is that what I think it is? Hey, yo, ugly, what are you doing? Oh, he didn't like that. He did not like that. I only have one heart, so I have to make sure not to take damage. Wait, I have an idea. Okay, I need to get down into the water. Come on down here, scrub. <laughs> this is gonna work. Okay, okay, now we're gonna go for it. Oh, gosh, we gotta hit off. Only a couple more hits. Oh, get stay back. Stay back. Yes, we did it. And check it out. I drowned. But we still got our hands on the Shy Guy heart. What happens when I right click? Oh, I just ate the SCP heart. And check it out. Now I have two hearts. I also got my hands on the SCP-096 arm. He should be able to lend me a helping hand. What does this thing do? One hit mobs, but causes blindness. Long cooldown. I could use this to fight the next SCP. After running around with Shy Guy's arm, eventually I stumbled across the next SCP. I don't think that's supposed to be there. That could be our next SCP. I want to test this thing out first. Boom. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness, dude. I actually do go blind. As long as the arm is in my inventory, I get strength four and speed three. Does that mean? I could just like one hit this fake Bessie. Yes, it does. <laughs> Come here, you piece of beef. I need to sustain my body. Well, guys, I guess we're heading down. Oh, wow. That goes far. Wait, is that my heartbeat? Okay, this is really weird. I've never, ever had this happen in Minecraft before. Should I keep going? Am I going to get trapped down here? Okay, Jack, just keep going a little bit further. Wait, am I, I, I'm getting poisoned. I'm getting poisoned. Hunger, bad omen. The further I go down the staircase, case the more negative effects i'm getting oh no dude what's gonna be down here we're almost at the bottom okay if all i have to do is just get to the bottom we got this we're doing great i have an arm and i'm not afraid to use it but i can't see i can't see what's going on oh something's down here something is certainly down here i can't see anything dudes oh i killed something let's go the stairwell heart I gotta get out of here. I'm going to get out of this place before any other SCP tries to touch my butt. Whew, that was a close one. And now we got our hands on our third heart. Let's see what this one does. Yes, whoa, what was that? A scythe. Oh, that is so sick, dude. I'm gonna test it on this sheep. Die, sheep. <laughs> it's a one hit KO for a sheep. How about a fake Bessie? Yes. This thing is awesome. It also says I can sneak and left click to teleport. Well, let's try that out. What? Nah, that's actually overpowered. The next SCP was somewhere in the village up ahead. I don't trust this villager. Something's not right. Is that a vending machine? Are there vending machines in villages now? No, wait, what? Let's check it out. What? Maybe I need to give it something. Yo, what are you guys doing? You guys are being real sus, bro. Whoa, wait a second. They just dropped something. One dollar bill. I wonder if I could use this in the... Whoa, uh, hey, hey, hey there, pal. Hey, I'm just I'm just trying to use the vending machine. Here goes nothing. Okay, maybe I deserve that. Oh, God, don't, don't get too close. Nope. Nope. Yes, we got him. Well, time to collect some cash. Let's see what happens when I right-click on this. Whoa, sick. It dropped netherite? What else did I get? Oh, sick, a golden apple. Villagers, I'm so sorry, but you know what I have to do. Die! Yes! Boom. Ship how? Oh, you guys were doing a trade? Not today. Get back here. Let me steal your money. 
I'm recording myself committing heinous crimes against these villagers. You gotta do what you gotta do when the SCPs invade your world. Okay, I have 14 villager dollars. There has to be something cool that happens. Whoa, diamond. Emerald, eh, dumb. Netherite, gold, netherite. Can I get one more diamond? Come on, come on. Yes, I got one. Diamond sword, here we come. Wait a second, guys. I have an idea. Can I make this into more money? Well, that didn't work. Pardon me, I just need a few more villager giant nose dollar bills. Let's see, that's nine in total. So what happens if I combine them all together in a crafting table? We got the money block. Is this thing even gonna fit? Let's try it out. Whoa! <gasps> It disappeared, and it pooped out the next heart. That's sick, dude. We got the coffee machine heart. I did not think that was a coffee machine. Let's shove this into my body. And yes, dude, we got our hands on another heart. And also something called Super Cola. Drink to gain a massive buff. We should definitely save this for the next SCP. But we're gonna test it first. Whoa, I have every power up in the game. On to the next SCP. Supposedly, the next SCP is all the way in a cabin in the middle of the forest. Hello, anybody home? Is there anybody inside? I don't see any SCPs in here. It looks like nobody's been here in a while. What's upstairs? Hello? Okay, that is a weirdly placed chest. What's back here? Oh, um, what is this? A secret room? Very interesting. Is that a teddy bear? What the heck, dude? Can I kill you? What the? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, oh! I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. What is inside here? A oh, wait. A bone. Can I use this on the SCP somehow? Oh, God! Just tossing TNT! Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Here, take your stupid bone. Ugh, take it. I don't want it. It's sending out tiny teddy bears. Since when can an SCP be cute and deadly at the same time? Let's use our scythe. Yes, dude. Okay, it one hits the tiny guys. We got him. I think it might have been a robot. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We got the builder bear heart. Let's see what happens when we eat it. All right, we have our extra heart, and we also got a teddy? Right-click mobs to turn them into a teddy bear that will fight with you. We can make Build-A-Bear minions. I will have an entire army. Time to test this out. You will now be my minion. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That is sick. You guys will murder for me and bake cookies if I ask. I still wasn't sure what the SCP bone was for, but behind the house, I found another path. Mr. Charles be teddy bear follow me this could get sketchy why are there so many fires this way hello what the flip hey uh mr charles be teddy bear i feel like this is a you problem i feel like you should definitely go check that out hey there buddy hey are you friendly look i have this bone do, do you like bones okay why is it looking at me it is following every single footstep that i make i don't like this i do not like this one bit super cola let's go okay come on Come on, wait. Oh, no, 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 it is powered up, it is powered up. Ow, oh, teddy bear, teddy bear, why are you running? You're supposed to protect me with your body. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I'm too scared to get close. We gotta do it. No, yes, dude, it ate the bone. What happened? Oh, it likes me. Okay, okay, we're gonna grab the heart. The with many voices heart. I don't know what is going on over there. I think it ate the bone, right? I'm not gonna stick around to find out if it wants more. Okay, I think we're a safe distance. And let's eat the with many voices SCP heart. Whoa, dude. That is such a cool attack. It's like a shockwave effect. I literally have my entire arm inside this thing's head. Let's test this out. Boom. Oh, that is so sick. It's a shockwave effect. <laughs> I don't know if it does any damage, but it shoots them up into the air so they at least take fall damage. And I can spam it. Oh, yes. You know, I'm starting to think it wasn't such a bad thing that I lost all my hearts today. The location of the next SCP was somewhere in a tiny laboratory that Bessie abandoned. Okay, it should be right up ahead. That definitely does not look abandoned. What are you looking at, llama? I'll turn you into a teddy bear right now. Oh, come on, man. You're just teddy bear. Teddy bear. You're all turning into my teddy bear army. Okay, thank you, Llama Mama Jama. You are now teddy bear Llama Mama Jama, and you guys can follow me this way. What the? Okay, first off, there's a bunch of items that are glowing. Is that how I get inside? What about this one on the ground? Okay, cool. We picked up one iron ingot. Let's go grab that. Ooh, there's iron over here. One more piece of iron there, and let's see if we can grab this stick. I think that's honestly everything that I need to make a pickaxe. I hope I did that right. Teddy bear army, have your guard up. We're going in. Hello. Whoa. What's going on in here? There's a bunch of electricity coming out of this block. Let's see what happens if I break them. Okay, one down. 
two, number three, and the last one. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not look over there. That is the statue SCP. Okay, as long as I'm looking at it, I should be safe. But if I turn around, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who has summoned me? Hi, it's me, Beppo Jack. It is you, weakling. I mean, I'm not that weak. I do push-ups. You won't survive the final battle, but maybe this will help. Are you telling me that I don't have to battle you? Uh, is this a trick? I'm just gonna take this and uh, I'll be on my way. You can have one of my teddy bears if you want. I can't believe it, guys. We didn't have to fight the statue. I was getting real worried there for a second. Let's go ahead and eat this heart. <gasps> What did we get? The statue. Let's test it out on some mobs. Okay, chill, chill, chill. What the? Oh my gosh. If they get too close to me, they get frozen. Oh, I accidentally maybe froze one of my teddy bears. Okay, let's try it on this giant skeleton. Yes, dude. Check it out. It's working. Boom, frozen. Now my teddy bear will destroy you with the power of cuteness and bear. As I was building my teddy bear army, I stumbled across the next SCP. Uh, guys, I completely missed this. There is a giant pool. Why is it red? What happens if I touch it? Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Did you guys see that on the top of the screen? There's a meter that's slowly filling up and it says the red pool. If I know anything about the red pool, SCPs usually spawn inside of it. Okay, teddy bears, you're on watch duty. I'm gonna see what happens when that bar fills up to the top. It could either be really good or really, really, really bad. Okay, so far so good. Nobody's died yet. I'm gonna drink my super cola. I might honestly need it. Okay, it's almost charged up. Just a little bit more. I don't like where this is going, guys. Charge up, charge up. Yes. And we did it. What happened? Oh, cool. It just spawned in the heart. That wasn't bad at all. Oh my gosh, dude. A bunch of mobs just started attacking me. Oh, okay. This is what I was worried about. We need to eat the red pool heart. There we go. And we got the red pool water gun. Wait, what does this thing do? Right click to shoot red water. Yeah, cool. It damages mobs. That is awesome. Eat my red bubbles, fool. <laughs> it's working. Sound wave. Oh, yo. My teddy bears are killing him. I'll freeze him for you guys. Okay, I'm really sorry that I keep accidentally freezing the teddy bears. I got this. Oh, yes, it's working. And this should be the last guy. Got him. Nice work, Team Teddy. We only need to collect two more SCP hearts. Then we can head back to the lab and see if it's opened. This kind of looks like the lab from earlier. It is completely abandoned. What the heck happened here? Are those cats? There are so many cats. Where did all of these cats come from? What the flip, dude? Are you guys supposed to be here? There's not an SCP that's based on a cat, right? Don't worry, little guy. My teddy bear doesn't bite. Can I tame these guys? Yeah, I can get a cat army. Let's go. Ooh, on top of the screen, it said one out of 10 cats tamed. Oh, we gotta tame nine more now. There we go. That's two. Two, three, number four, let's see, and we need one more. I just tried to accidentally tame my teddy bear. And we did it! Ten out of ten cats tamed! That wasn't too bad. But hey, uh... Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! Yo! What just happened? You gotta be kidding me right now, dude! My cats betrayed me! Okay, okay, red pool water gun. Teddy bear, what are you doing? Why are you paralyzed with fear? He's throwing explosive cats at me. I repeat, he is throwing explosive cats at me at me. I never thought I would say that in my entire life. Okay, Red Bull water gun. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. I need more teddy bears. I don't have anything to make into teddy bears. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Why are you not helping? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Spam, 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 spam. We need some super cola and maybe a super miracle right now. I swear I'm not doing any damage to this dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can teleport away. I am on fire. Okay, that's fine. As long as I can keep them way, way, way back there, we should be fine. This might be a good time to try out the SCP arm. Let's see. Yes, dude, it did it. We got our hands on the gore field heart. And I think that means there's only one more heart left to get. Did I just get my hands on a cat cannon? I think I did. Yo, that's awesome. Eat my kitten cannon. I don't even know who I'm fighting. Take this chicken. There's only one more heart left to get. So I went all the way back to the main lab. And guys, look at that. It's wide open. We're gonna be extra careful. I have a cat cannon and I am not afraid to use it. It looks like a portal. Do I go in there? Where the flip are we? Um, what is that? There's a huge castle on the clouds up here. I'm gonna have my cat cannon loaded. I come in peace. I just want my heart back. What? This thing is gross. The gate guardian. Bring me three orbs and I will gift you entry to the end. Okay, let's find three different orbs. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was not expecting that. I was not. Eat your cats. 
good, 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 good. Okay, okay. We're gonna grab this super fast. There's the first one. Just two more. Just two more, Jack. Maybe upstairs? Maybe all the way upstairs. A little bit further. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you, are you friends? Are you guys, are you friendly? You're not friendly. Now you'll be friendly. Oh my gosh. Oh, go. You, you. It's, it's the robot SCP. Chill, man, chill. Eat my cats. Okay, there has to be an orb up there. Hey, man. So remember when you gave me that heart? That was super cool. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just maybe uh, just go this way. And yes, check it out, guys. The next orb. There's only one more. Where could it be? Okay, I like this. Maybe I can actually push them off the island. Oh, it worked. Let's go. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Turn it to a teddy bear. That did not work. That did not work. Red pool water gun. Let's use our scythe. Yes, we killed it. What's up there, Mr. Robot Man? Sorry to do this to you. Got him. And that's it. The third SCP orb. We can take this back to our good, beautiful, pretty, pretty awesome friend here. Hello, good sir. Whoa. Thank you. Take this. You will need to travel through the portal and defeat the final SCP. Okay. He literally just gave me his heart. The gate guardian heart. Let's see what this one does. Whoa. Oh, it teleported me back and we have something called the god shield. Hold to block 90% of all attacks. And guys, we did it. It's time to go and face the god of all SCPs. What? It's the end, but I don't remember it looking like this. There are slimes everywhere. Hello? I don't know if I see the SCP. We can teleport a little bit closer. There's no way. That's it. The Tickle Monster. What? No, dude. There's no way. How is SCP-999 the god of all SCPs? I don't want to underestimate him. Whoa, dude, he has like a fart attack. Luckily, the entire world is made of slime, so I don't take fall damage. Just like the Ender Dragon, I have to destroy all of his rainbow end crystals. Easy enough when you have this amazing scythe that I could use to throw and teleport. That should be the last one. Yes, dude. And let's take him down. <laughs> this has to be the funniest boss. We barely take damage with the god shield out. Wait, guys, I can use the SCP arm. Let's finish this. It didn't work. It didn't work. It's immune! No way! Oh, crap, dude. I honestly was not expecting that. Let's see if we can knock it back just a little bit. Yes, it's working. Is our pool water gun effective? It does a little bit of damage. When in doubt, kitten cannon out. Oh, this thing is OP! We got it! Let's go! But another beautiful day in the world. Oh my gosh, what are you? My what? Well, what are you nasty doing? Nasty grasp, you'll have no help. What is happening? <laughs> Yo, who is this lady? Where did all my hearts just go? Hello? Where am I? Hey, buddy. Uh oh, what's are up, Crafty? Right? No. I'm glad you're awake. Come here a sec. We gotta talk about what just happened. Did I pass out? Where did all my hearts go? It looks like my nemesis, Nasty the Witch, is at it again. She took everybody hearts away so you've only got one left what Thankfully, i think we can get our hearts back okay all preparing to take nasty down first go out and defeat some mobs they'll drop some heart pieces we can use i'll explain more when you get them so crafty lost all of his hearts too and then there's also dr heart that i think i'll be working with in order to get back my hearts let's grab ourselves the wooden sword is there anything else around oh there's a stone sword we already got an upgrade flaunt and shell we'll grab some cooked beef a crossbow oh a shield so we only need to find one minecraft mob in order to steal its heart i feel kind of bad killing an innocent chicken a bunch of clips of me like killing the chickens <laughs> Sweet, that's a heart piece. Dr. Heart says that if you can nab nine of them, you can craft those babies into a heart container. Well, that's weird. All of the chickens are gone. Oh, and I have heart pieces. How convenient. But Crafty told me that if I go inside of here, I can craft the heart container, which will give me the ability to steal hearts from mob. All right, we have our first one. Yes, there it is. Oh. It. Now that you've got your first heart container, you should find a villager or a goat hmm. and use that on them. A villager or a goat, you say. Well, there is a mountain over there, and if I know anything about goats, they're found on the mountain. To the mountain we go. Goat mountain up ahead. You're not a goat. I see so many of them. Okay, do I just right click down? Let's try it out in three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> we turned the goat into a heart. Hey, you got your very first mob heart. Let's dude. go. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Crafty. 
Wait, uh, what? I have to eat the goat? All right, this goes. Whoa! You oh, collected it worked. the goat. <laughs> Great job! If you sneak and time your jump, you can now Whoa. ram through blocks. Whoa! That's so cool! And I just realized, check out my face, dude! I have goat horns and goat ears. Wait a second, let's try to ram through these blocks right here. Boom! Oh, wait. Boom! How do I do this? Go! Yeah, dude! Let's check it out! Yeah! That's awesome! <laughs> the sound effects are so funny. <laughs> Which villager will I steal the heart of today? I like you. Oh, <laughs> that never gets old. Thank you very much. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to consume your heart. <laughs> That's the villager heart. Oh, awesome, dude. Yeah. Tiny villagers will defend you when you're attacked now. Wait, actually? Hold on. We need to test this. What happens if I get attacked by an iron hey, golem? now that you got more hearts, come back and see me. I think I got something that should help. All right, Crafty. I'll be back very shortly. What happens if I attack the iron golem? Okay, I just die. Hello, Crafty. I'm back. I think this will help us get what is a leg that? up on nasty. Dr. Hart called it a sheep catalyst. Okay. Whatever that means, apparently nasty sent some of her goons to watch us. And oh, really? And disguised as normal mobs. Creepy, Whoa. right? Ugh, they really need to get a better hobby. Anyway, the good doctor says we can use this on a sheep to reveal Nasty's minion. Give him what for? All right, we're going to grab one. We need to use this on sheeps that are in disguise. I don't see any sheep around here. Sheep. Are there any sheep out here? Does it work on a chicken? No. I'm so sorry, chicken. Check it out. I see a sheep. Attack! Let's use the sheep catalyst. Let's see. Oh, it was a minion. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's got a giant sword. What the heck? I don't like that. Wait a second. If it attacks me, I'm pretty sure villagers will spawn in and defend my honor. All right, let's let him get a hit. Oh gosh, yo, look at that. Wait, did he just kill all of my villager army? Can I set him on fire? Burn. Oh, it's working. Oh, that was way too easy. We're going in. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh gosh, dude. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. The burial watch sheep is too powerful. Don't worry, Crafty. You can count on me. What is it doing? Oh my gosh. It was just waiting for me. I'm gonna need to keep my distance. I don't want to see the other end of that sword. A couple more bow shots will do the trick. <laughs> This sheep has some giant eyebrows. Don't worry. One more hit and boom. Oh, wait. One more hit and boom. How are you not dead? Die. Yes, we did it. Hey, what did you drop? Oh, that's 10 obsidian, which means we can Stop make a nether portal. Bearing. It's so unattractive. Time for new mobs that are radioactive. Say what now? Did you just say radioactive? Oh, hey, come no on. Fair. Nasty, you can't just change the game like that. Oh, I'm freaking out, dude. But those radioactive mobs should Whoa. drop green heart pieces, letting you nab even stronger mob hearts. Okay. Let's use that to our advantage. All right, here goes nothing. There we go. We got a green heart piece. All right, let's get rid of my glass bottles. Awesome. Let's see. A All right, we got one. Piece. Same as before. Oh, there's creepers. Nine of them to craft a radioactive heart container. All right. There's a lot of normal mobs and there's also a lot of creepers. Let's let it hit me one time so that my villager army of babies will attack. Get them, children. Oh, we got another one. So far, so good. There's got to be some more radioactive mobs around here, right? Mm, all the chickens check out. Oh, I think I see a couple in here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're attacking me. What? Nah, bro. That's not cool. Don't you dare touch me. You're radioactive. You're infected. Oh, gosh, dude. I only have one heart left. I keep forgetting that I can't just tank hits like I normally do. We only need three more green heart pieces in order to craft the green heart container. Then we'll be able to get some different upgrades. Hmm, this sheep is looking a little bit suspicious. Die. All right, if we go inside of here, let's see. The radioactive heart container. Oh, it's beautiful. You got a radioactive container. Yeah. That can hold even stronger mob hearts. So let's look for some nether mobs. All right, sounds easy enough. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our obsidian. Break those blocks. Ignite! We have a portal. Into the nether we go. Ooh, there's already a base set up. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, back off! What's inside of here? Oh, more arrows. What do I do here? Oh my gosh, dude. What mobs am I supposed to find and capture using my heart canister? We've made it. Oh no, dude. I don't like the look of this. They have bodyguards. No, no, I don't want anything to do with you. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. All right, I see a blaze spawner. We just have to run up to it and then use our heart canister quickly. Yes, we got it. Oh no, 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 no. 
Ow! What is Crafty doing? <laughs> yeah. All right, Crafty. While I'm here, I might as well eat the Blaze Heart. Whoa. Um. Hot stuff. That's oh gosh. Blaze Heart. Um, oh gosh. Oh. Fire um. Um. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh. Fireballs okay. When swinging a blaze rod. Okay. All right. I almost set your house on fire, and I'm so sorry. I think it's about time to figure out our next mob. Let's try out the wither skeleton. Oh, it worked! Yeah, we got it! All right, let's get out of here before I die. And then we can eat it right here. Let's go! Heart. Spooky. Now you'll shoot out deadly wither skulls. Oh, actually? All right, let's try it right now. Go ahead and hit me. Do your worst. Oh my gosh, dude, it explodes and summons in baby villagers. Oh, that is amazing. There might still be one more mob that we need to collect the heart of in the nether. I need four more radioactive heart pieces. I think you might have one, good sir. Thank you very much. There should be lots of magma cubes right up here. We just need to collect one. Let's collect the little guy. Yes, we did it. Let's go. And let's eat it. <laughs> you got the magma cube. Yeah, heart. we did it. Now you've got a jump Whoa. You sneak midair. You can Whoa. Power slam enemies. Oh, wait, that's so cool. Hey, I was able to make another mob. Bob Catalyst, while okay. we were collecting hearts. Come grab it and let's chat. All right, let's go back to Crafty and then we can test out our brand new Magma Cube Slam ability on whatever it is that Crafty has. Well, hello, my beautiful friend. Dr. Hart finished the Strider Catalyst. Oh, cool. It's the usual stick. Reveal the bad guy, deck him in the schnoz, call it a day. Nasty's goon is disguised as a normal hmm. Strider, though. So use this on a Strider to reveal them. Why okay. do these guys work for Nasty anyways? Do you think she gives them, like, good work benefits? No, no, no focus. definitely not. Okay, okay, let's find a Strider and give him a good, you know. Talking to our fist. Don't worry, Crafty, I'm reading your mind. Okay, so we have to take this back to the nether and somehow spot a Strider. I think I could use my slow falling ability to fall right down here. All right, any Striders out there? So far, oh, there's one. All right, am I able to swim in this? I mean, I have fire resistance. Okay, this might take me a while. Oh, wait, it's coming towards me. That's right, a little bit closer, buddy. Oh, he's so adorable. Come on, we're almost there. Who's a good little strider? Who's a good little strider? And hold on. No, don't run away. What are you doing? Oh, and let's use it. Whoa, did it work? Wait a second, what's happening? Oh my goodness, dude, it turned into a boss. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, dude, it's so big. Um, uh, I'm definitely not ready for this. Um, can I shift click and run away? Oh, dude, he can't hit me. Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> and my baby villagers burn. I need to get outside of the lava ASAP. Oh, I think, oh, my, my, my sword just broke. Oh, uh, don't come over here. Don't look at me. We're gonna try to use our super pound. Yes, dude, it's working. Oh, we used it to defeat the strider. Let's see what I got. You Ooh, think some my diamonds. Whoa. Been delayed? Yes. Then face mobs purple, putrid, and decayed. <laughs> Interesting, Dr. Seuss. Oh, not again, dude. That nasty oh. witch spread yeah, check it out. magic. And now enemy mobs can be even stronger. Hmm. But these decayed mobs should drop purple heart pieces. Let's grab some of those. Okay, so we need to collect the purple heart pieces. I see one right there, but I feel like if I destroy the strider, the heart is going to burn in the lava. So I need to get back to spawn. Oh, I see my last two. There's one right there. Your efforts are futile. Oh gosh, why is everything exploding? Oh my gosh, my angry villager baby army decided to go berserk. All right, and my last one is right here. It's an enderman, so I need to make sure to be extra careful. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, there's another one right here. I might just do this because it, it'll be a little bit easier. Yep, that was way easier. Oh gosh. Protect me, babies. You know, who knew babies could be such a formidable army? All right, here goes nothing. It worked. Let's go. You got a decayed container. Nice yes. job. The stronger the heart pieces, the stronger the mob hearts. Let's find ourselves some strong guys. Well, look no further. Okay, never mind. Let's actually go find a creeper. Oh, also a rabbit will work with this. Maybe I'll be able to explode after this. Oh, it worked. Go ahead and consume your heart. Creeper heart. Boom. Let's go. Now you're explosion proof. And if you're attacked, you'll drop oh. creeper missiles all around you. Wait, Ooh. we have to test this. Shoot me. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't even need the angry villagers anymore. Go ahead. Touch me. 
I dare you to touch me now. Oh, I just realized my leg turned into an entire creeper. That's kind of weird. At least it doesn't have a face on it. Let's try this again. There we go. That one worked. And let's eat you. Oh, it that worked. That is the iron golem heart. Now you're stronger. Whoa. And you've got full <laughs> knockback resistance. Look, Check out my chest. That. Oh, that's awesome. There's a lot more mobs that are starting to spawn in that are already infected. All right, I am way more powerful. Check this out. Boom. Were you riding on the back of a sheep? I've never seen that before. Oh, there's a raid still happening. Perfect. This will be good. They'll all be infected and then I can save the day and be a hero. Wait a second. Also, there's a Ravager, and a Ravager is one of the mobs that I can actually turn into a mob heart. All right, we need to make sure to keep that Ravager alive. In the meantime, I need more decayed heart pieces. Thank you, KFC. The Ravager and the Iron Golem are battling. I need to make sure the Ravager wins. Oh, that's a shame. Why'd you do that? Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> I guess nobody wins. We got another decayed heart container, and there's one more stage of the raid. Maybe this one will have a Ravager. Last time they came from the south. Oh, this time it sounds like they're coming from the east. Oh my gosh, they are. Now's my chance, dude. I need to get to the Ravager before the Iron Golem does. Let's test this out. Let's do it. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah, it did. Let's go. Let's go ahead and eat that bad boy. Yeah, dude. That's the Ravager heart. Now you can feel a super knockback punch. Oh, sweet. Yeah, wait, check out my arm. Does it work on a pig? Oh, I'm just too powerful for a pig. Oh, I see one. Let's see if we can grab it. Yes, we did. And this is the final heart, I think. Let's see it. Whoa. You collected the rabbit heart. Now you've got your very own protector and a new best buddy. Okay. Besides me, of course. Right? What's up, big guy? That is Hercules as a rabbit. I think you have enough mob hearts to <gasps> deal with that <laughs> witch nasty. Dr. Hart's going to help us summon. So hurry back. All right, let's go, Royd Rabbit. We got work to do. <laughs> I look hilarious. What's up, boys? Okay, Dr. Hart is setting up the summoning device to okay. bring Nasty into our world. Apparently, she's been flying around and hmm. watching us from the spirit realm. But this of item course. will catch her and force her into our world. Use it to teach her not to mess with us or our friends. Yeah. You've got this, dude. All right, I got this. Let's go, boys. Boy, rabbit prepare yourself get your muscles ready it's time oh there's the summoning device it's down it well yeah! it's time to taste the rage of nasty you're gonna taste the rage bye, of Royd broom, rabbit go <laughs> good luck by my broom you'll go boom all right all right all right Royd rabbit take care of her oh my gosh dude, we're doing way too much damage <laughs> This is awesome. Bye, She's summoning in some minions. Oh, but it barely does any damage. Let's go. Only a couple more hits. My <laughs> rat, my plague. Oh, you wait, what? Me. Roy Rabbit, get them. By my broom, you go boom. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is way too easy with all of my upgrades. Come here, lady. Only a couple Bye, more hits. My... Oh, we got Big her. Cats. Let's go. What? This cannot be. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of me. I think I have, at least for today. You did it, buddy! Oh, Whoa. I knew you had it in you. You hit her so hard, she even dropped her broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, my friend. You've earned it. Thanks for helping me. This is nasty. awesome! If she ever comes back to stir up more trouble, I'll know who to call. Yes, you will, Crafty. Or Bright, or Text, yeah. Bright, or Text. Yeah. Do you take letters? Carrier pigeon? Yeah, I take uh, carrier pigeon. Send me a postcard. Boop, steady, bump, dump, bunk. Why did I just get something called an armor core? Wait, and we also got something called golem essence. What the flip are these? Hey, Bessie, how's it going? You're looking awfully beautiful today. A uh, quick question. I was out killing iron golems and I got an armor core and also golem essence. What the crap are these? Bessie has a book called the custom armor handbook. Very interesting. Uh, today's new invention, uh, custom armor points. Combine different items and blocks with an armor core to get custom armor that has special abilities. Let's see if you can find them all. Love, Bessie. I had a feeling Bessie was behind this all along. I knew it was you, Bessie. The first one we can craft, dirt armor. Dirt, yoink, the dirt. I figured out that the block in front of Bessie was a custom armor crafting table. So if I put the dirt inside and then I put the armor core in, it makes a dirt chest plate. Does it actually work? 
Look at that, Leo! My entire body's dirty! We still have to get the dirt helmet, the dirt pants, and the dirt boots. Which means I need some more armor cores. I'm so sorry, horse. I have no idea if every single mob drops an armor core, but we're about to find out. Come here. It does! Look, we got an extra armor core. Bye bye black sheep. Bye bye black sheep gave me an armor core. I am eternally grateful. Thank you all show to the little tiny chicken. Now all we have to do is place down our custom armor crafting table and put in our dirt alongside our armor cores. We got paints. Very nice. I need the helmet. And most importantly, the boots. The foundation of any outfit. Guys, check out my hotbar. Look at it. We have a full row of dirt armor points. And wait a second, what's this? We got an ability. We get speed five when walking over dirt blocks and we can right click to throw dirt. And we can also right click grass in order to regen health. Yo, I'm a speedy boy when I'm running on dirt. And what does it mean we can throw dirt? What? What? I can just drop dirt on top of my head. It does damage to mobs too. We'll be able to use this to get even more armor cores. Come here, llamas. I am officially Beckbro Dirt Boy. The next armor we can craft is the wooden armor. We need wooden planks with the armor cores. Since every single mob drops an armor core, we can kill anything. Even this little baby bunny rabbit. I thought this would be easy, but this is turning out to be the most difficult mob I've killed all day. Oh, I got it. We got an extra armor core. Also, what is this? It looks like Herobrine was here. Yo, I'm not trying to deal with that today. I'm booking it out of here, boys. Come on, Bacon. Give me your armor core. I did it. I got the four cores. Let's harvest all the wood from this tree. What the flip do you think you're doing? Do you, are you trying to... You want to get buried? That's what I thought, bro. Get dirted. The power of dirt is strong, but the power of wood will be stronger. We'll put the wooden planks in there to get the wooden chest plate. The wooden helmet. The wooden pants. And the wood boots. Get out of here, dirt armor. Make way for wooden armor. It's so cool how it actually updates in my hotbar. We now have wooden plank armor points. What can I do? Can I hit? Can I, can I, can I, uh, what, what, uh, what? Where'd that? Huh? I've become tree Jesus. I can summon in an army of trees. Oh my God. Whoa. Beck bro lumberjack in the building, people. We can literally just chop down entire trees. We just need to right click. That's crazy. And then we can also get infinite wood because if I shift right click in an open area, we summon in mini tree and then we can break mini tree. We have discovered an infinite wood glitch. <laughs> this is too much fun. Sadly, when we chop down the mini tree, it leaves the leaves there. Okay, I'm sorry. That was bad. Please don't unsubscribe. Also, when wearing this armor, we supposedly get some regeneration. I wonder if I could spawn in a mini tree right on top of the Enderman. No, 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 no. I will make a shield. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, where am I getting hit from? The zombies inside of the tree. We're basically a tree bender. We could just bend trees and then it will stop anything from getting around me. Look, now I have a little base of trees. Next up in our handy dandy custom armor book, we need to find a village. Hello, oh, I'm so sorry, are you sleeping? I apologize, there's mobs outside and I also need to take your essence. Don't worry, this'll be quick. Stay still, why are you running? I just want to absorb your essence and make armor out of your body. <laughs> we got it, villager essence. Oh, somebody's not happy. How's it going there, bub? Aren't you gonna kill the homeless zombie? No, you're too focused on me? You wanna kith? Well, eventually we do need to collect golem essence, so. Job well done, Jack. I will turn you into a tree. I warned him. Everybody, your iron golem is dead. I am the mayor of this town. How's it going? Do you want to be turned into a tree? <laughs> I'm a horrible person. The job is done, ladies and gentlemen. I think we slaughtered, oh, almost everybody. Was it worth it? We'll find out. Hat, chest plate, legs, boots. <laughs> Look at the chest on this thing. It looks like a villager's face with a big fat nose. Our abilities consist of shift right clicking to get free emeralds and an iron golem will spawn to protect me when I'm below half health. Wait, it works. Look at me go. I get infinite emeralds, which means I can get any trade that I want from a villager. Hey, so I know I just maybe uh, destroyed your entire village, but do you have any fun trades? No, you do not. Get out of here. After abandoning the last village, I managed to find another one. Does anybody want some emeralds? Oh, you got lots of food. The next armor that we have to make is made out of iron golem essence. So while we're here, we might as well, you know. Oh my God, it hit me. No, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead. Wait a second. I can actually use this to my advantage. If I get below half health, it'll spawn in another iron golem. We can just get infinite. Well, I mean, it was kind of a good idea. The iron golems that spawned in to protect me don't actually try to hurt me. I feel kind of bad since they don't fight back and they're technically meant to protect my body with their lives, but at the same time, I need iron golem essence. 
I decided to name this guy Gerald. Gerald has been getting me down to half health so that more iron golems spawn, and then I've just been farming them. Gerald, your time has come to an end. I'm so sorry, Gerald. But because of Gerald's sacrifice, we now have 21 armor cores and 29 golem essence. It works. We got the golem chest plate. Golem helmet. Legs. Up. And the boots. What the heck? Look at our armor. So we now have a full row of iron golem armor points, and we also get three extra rows of hearts. How much damage do we do? Oh my god. What do we do to an iron golem? Oh, we can fling him up in the air. Wait, so we literally have the punch of an iron golem. I have now become Gerald. We can also use our nice emerald supply to get a pair of snazzy blue pants. Thank you. Oh god, I did not mean to do that. Next up on our custom armor list, TNT armor. Luckily, I know exactly where to farm some TNT. <laughs> These mobs do absolutely nothing to me. Go ahead, explode, I dare you. Okay, well, it did a little bit. Okay, let's go inside, and then we should be able to dig down and mine at least some of the TNT. Ooh, golden apples, don't mind if I do. We'll grab the TNT, and now we only need to do that about three more times. It took a while, but I finally had everything that I needed in order to get the custom TNT armor. I'm so excited to test this out. Okay, so we have the TNT helmet, TNT chest plate, pantalones, and the explosive boots. What do our abilities do? Oh, I should have guessed it. It summons in a prime TNT. We could also shift right click to summon in TNT out of our buttholes. Oh my God, I can spam it, boys. That is dangerous. And supposedly when I punch mobs, they explode on impact. <laughs> I love it. Let's explode some babies. Don't take that sentence out of context. Minecraft, but TNT follows you. Minecraft, but you ate too much Chipotle. <laughs> Minecraft, but you're Kim Jong-un. The next two armors we have are Ender Pearl armor or Lucky Block armor. The custom Lucky Block armor is extremely difficult to craft. We need a ton of gold blocks. One gold block down, about 26 more to go. And that's when I had the idea that I could go to the nether and find a Bastion remnant. Luckily, this chest has tons of obsidian. We can upgrade to a diamond pickaxe and also a diamond sword. Yeah, we're iced out, boys. I realized I needed to make a flint and steel to activate the portal. Give me flint, flint, flint. Ah, what? We got it. Flint and stell. Boom, bop, kapow. Oh boy, we hit the mother loader. Look at all that gold. I hear a lot of snorting noises and I do not like it. Luckily, I had just enough blocks of gold to make the full set of lucky block armor. Later, losers. <laughs> They're about to get exploded. <laughs> Let's make the helmet. It worked. The chest plate, legs, and the booties. We have the ability to right click to enchant the weapons, tools, and armors in your offhand. We can shift right click to spawn free dungeon loot, and getting hit causes a random potion effect. Wait, so I put this in my offhand, right? And I shift right click. Oh my goodness. Really? We got Bane of Arthropods? Can I switch it? I can. Give me sharpness. Sharpness for looting three fire aspect two. That's insane. Efficiency four. I'm breaking three. Efficiency in fortune three. Bro, we are goaded. I can even enchant my bow. And also every time we shift right click, we get infinite dungeon loot. That means I can get infinite golden god apples. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Guys, I think we probably have enough items. Surprisingly, I only got nine god apples from all of this. With our looting three sword, we should be able to get all of the ender pearls that we need for the ender pearl armor pretty quickly. I said ender pearl, not homeless zombies. Wait, what the heck? We have two rows of armor points. I take no damage. Also, we have 30 ender pearls, so we can finally craft the ender pearl armor. Let's try it on. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit ugly, but let's see the effects. So we can teleport in any direction that we're looking. This is crazy! And if we shift right click, it'll teleport us to the closest mob in the area. And if I hit them, they'll get teleported. Yo, back up, bacon. You're acting kind of sus. For the next armor, we need a lot of obsidian. Oh, it's like sweet music to my eardrums. This is going to take me about an hour. So while we're waiting, if you guys could, please go hit that like button and also subscribe if you're new. And after a while, I finally managed to gather 27 obsidian. This better be worth it. The obsidian helmet, the legs, the helmet and the chest plate. Did I really make two helmets by accident? <laughs> Got the boots. We have three different abilities. When we hit the ground after falling over three blocks, we kill every single mob. When I shift right click, we're able to break bedrock. And if I crouch for two seconds, we can charge a high jump. So wait a second, if I go like this. Oh, okay, so we slam down and then we should be able to kill anything. Also look at our hot bar. We have obsidian armor points. <laughs> And the obsidian smash works like a charm. The most important thing we need to test out is if we can mine bedrock. Oh my goodness. All right, well, that was a close call. 
I did not realize I had fire resistance. Luckily, the obsidian armor is able to survive any sort of fire damage. What? No way. Nah, nah, nah. That is cursed. We can shift right click and immediately mine bedrock. Look at that. We just opened up the void. I feel like I have just completely broken Minecraft in today's video. I may have gotten myself in a little predicament here. I was able to use my bedrock in order to craft a full set of armor. Bedrock chest plate, the helmet, the boots, and the legs. No way. Bro, I am hyped. We officially have too much armor to die. We have become invincible. And I can also just place down bedrock anywhere. The only problem is that we now move at snail speed. If I right click, I get a bedrock sword that does 15 attack damage. I dare you to touch me. Oh, what the heck, dude? That's insane. Go ahead, try to touch me. You dead. Come on, idiot. You're dead. What are you thinking? Go ahead, explode. Let's see what happens when the ender dragon tries to hit me. How's it going, bros? That's right, come on down. We do so much damage. We're about to kill the ender dragon using our bedrock armor. Or maybe not. Nice try. We did it. There it is. The dragon armor. Yo, this looks sick. So Bessie, what does the dragon armor do? Whoa, whoa, what? Every time I shift click, it spawns in a flipping ender dragon. This jungle is really huge. Wait, what are these? I've never seen these before. These must be a part of the new update. We got a slimy cookie? A chunky cookie? There's a diamond cookie? I gotta try this. Oh my god! This is Minecraft, but with custom cookies. These custom cookies are really weird, but extremely overpowered. Can I eat cookies in order to beat Minecraft? Watch until the end to find out. And also leave a like if you like cookies. And also, if you're like me and absolutely love cookies, go ahead and leave a like. Three, two, one. I gotta eat a cookie before I do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So in today's video, we are able to get custom cookies. But in order to find them, we need to go to a jungle and find the brand new super cookie tree. First things first though, uh, we're gonna need to figure out how to speed run Minecraft because I'm not really much of a speed runner as I'm sure you guys probably know. So we're gonna get the little boopy crafting table. We're gonna go ahead and get some sticks. We're gonna go over here and bonk some more wood so we can actually get some tools. We're gonna go ahead and get the poor man's pickaxe. And I guess we really don't even need to go ahead and get a, a, a a sword. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We actually got lucky today. It's probably because I ate cookies and you guys probably left tons of likes on today's episode. Oh, this is perfect. We're gonna have so much food. And no way. Wait, do you guys see that? Right in the distance, we have jungles. Wait, hold up. That means we can literally go directly to the jungle and start trying to find the super cookie tree. So some of these cookies can be made out of blocks. Some of them can be made out of mobs. And I believe some of them are just extremely overpowered. There's over 10 different cookies that we can find. And in today's episode, I'm going to get all of them, which is going to help us beat Minecraft super fast. Or at least that's the idea. <laughs> Why are there so many villagers here? What are they doing? They're unionizing. Back to your homes. Get everybody back. That's right. I'm the mayor of this town. This is now Cookie Town. Yo, do you sell any cookies? You don't sell. All right, everybody in this town, you guys are all dead. I will have to show them the ways of the cookie, ladies and gentlemen. They're young and ignorant. They have no idea what they're missing out on. We should probably be collecting the beds as well. I know for a fact every speedrunner that I watch does that, and then they use it to defeat the Ender Dragon. When I first started watching speedrunners, I thought that they were collecting the beds for like a giant sleepover slumber party, and then I quickly realized that the Ender Dragon really hates beds. Oh, we also got some extra food too. I probably went a little bit overkill, but that's okay, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and bing bong boop we got ourselves a stack of bread let's get a little bit more there we go okay now we have a stack and a half of bread so i really should not go hungry but ladies and gentlemen in today's episode i really don't plan on eating too much bread we're gonna go venture over into the jungle but i will take the one extra bread that i found in this chest i see it ladies and gentlemen okay so right there those things are the super cookie cocoons. They're kind of like cocoa beans, except they should drop either cookies or the super cookies. I'm not entirely sure how rare it is, but we're gonna try it out in three, two, one. All right, we got a normal cookie. I'm okay with that. I love cookies. So, I mean, normal cookies will do the trick, but that's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for super overpowered cookies. Oh, we got one, the chunky cookie. Let's try it out in three, two, one. Oh, what? <laughs> Look at my heart. So, wait, I have five extra rows of hearts, but <laughs> look, I'm so short. Look at my head. What is happening? This is amazing. Okay, so I have the chunky effect. 
Every single cookie is going to give me a special effect, and I believe it only lasts for 60 seconds. So my plan today, ladies and gentlemen, is to figure out exactly what every single cookie does, and then collect as many of them as possible, and then I can actually, like, use them in battle and combat. The chunky cookie, even though it makes me look like a big chungus, I think it's gonna be pretty useful later on. The only problem is, when you mine normal cocoa beans, you just get the regular cocoa beans, and you can't really craft these custom cookies. But, these super cookie spawners have a higher chance of spawning on these random super cookie trees. So let's see if we can get some more. So if I'm about to die, I can just munch on the chunky cookie and then I'll gain a lot of extra hearts. Oh, super cookie? No, I'm just getting normal cookies. I never thought there would be a day where I was sad to just get normal cookies. Normally, I'm really excited. Okay. Oh, we got a taming cookie. What does this one do? Okay, normal cookie. Come on, come on, super cookie. We got a flash cookie. The taming cookie has a bone going through it, so I feel like I should probably use it around wolves. We'll save this one for later, but I really want to test out what happens when I eat the flash cookie. In three, two, one. Zoom. What? Yo! This is crazy! Oh my goodness! Wait, what? And I get it for 60 seconds. Wait, I get instant mining? Oh! I need to use this someplace else. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna go over into the jungle. We can use this to collect a lot of different materials. Wait a second. <gasps> Bro, my fist! Okay, okay, so it doesn't really work, but I can use the, the wooden pickaxe in order to mine it. So I, I have instant mining, but I need to make sure I have the right tools. Oh, this is dope, ladies and gentlemen. I just, I just accidentally broke my wooden pickaxe because it wasn't strong enough. I need more flash cookies. Wait a second. Oh, I see more. I see more super cookie spawners. Oh my gosh, we just got a whole bunch more. I'm way too fast for my own good. There we go, there we go. Okay, we're gonna jump up here. We got ourselves the Thanos cookie. All right! That one I feel like I should probably save until I am in grave danger. What is this one? Was it okay? We got ourselves a super cookie. A uh, normal cookie, bro. I, 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 can we stop getting normal cookies? Okay, we ran out of the flash ability. That thing is so overpowered. The instant mining is going to be super useful later on. Let's see. Oh, we got a slimy cookie, a creeper cookie, and another flash cookie. We're gonna have this in our back pocket. I am extremely tempted to eat the creeper cookie. I have just a slight feeling that it's not gonna go too well for me. Wait, we have something called the chili cookie. Well, every single time I've had chili in my life, it normally does not work out well when it comes out. So, oh, okay. All right. I maybe am causing a forest fire. This was literally the worst spot that I could have eaten that chili cookie. I'm also dying. It doesn't give me any fire resistance. So, okay. I'm eating the creeper cookie. I'm doing it. Creeper cookie. I, can't, I, I didn't even eat it. Okay. Luckily, I think I found all of my stuff. I also realized, yeah, I caused a forest fire and I'm not proud of myself. We're going to act like that never happened, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to keep running through the jungle looking for cookies because that's really just more fun than dealing with a forest fire. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Yes. What is this one? Oh, creeper cookie again. I don't know if I want to try out that. We got another chili cookie. Let's go ahead and test out the super cookie in three, two, one. Okay. We have particle effects. We have something called super. Um, I feel like I should punch something. Hello there, squid. Come here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I insta-kill things. Or at least I insta-kill a squid. Wait, let's go try this out on the golem. We only have it for 26 more seconds, ladies and gentlemen. We need, uh, we, okay, we don't need the flash cookie. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to bonk him. <gasps> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, yes! <laughs> let's go! I have too much power. <laughs> oh, crap, I lost it. Hello there, villager. Do you want me to read you a bedtime story? There was once a boy named Beckbro Jack. He loved cookies so much. There was one day where he found a creeper cookie out in the jungle. It looked really delicious and green, so he decided he would eat it. Did I? Wait, what happened? I have an ability called creeperism. Well, I, I still look like a normal person. What happens if I hit this button? I found out what happens when you hit that button. Okay, but good. It looks like I kept my inventory. I just realized, dude, we haven't tried out the slimy cookie. I don't really want to become slimy, but I'll, I'll try it. But, oh! Whoa! Oh, why did I not bounce? <laughs> Look at it, look at it, look at it. As soon as my body came back down, it literally squished into a slime block. This actually might be the world's largest jungle. There has to be so many super cookies here. Would you chill, bro? Did you not? I'm, I'm gonna eat you. I'm literally, I'm gonna eat the, my chunky cookie, and then I'm gonna... Okay, that's not working. Let's go ahead. Let's try to do the Thanos cookie in three, two, one. That's what you get for shooting me, especially when I'm looking for cookies. Like, literally, if I had that ability if in real life, if somebody was trying to talk to me while I was eating cookies, and I could just eat a Thanos cookie, and and they would just poof, disappear. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling so good. I might actually do it. I mean, sure, I would think about it, obviously. Like, it depends what kind of cookie I'm eating and how hungry I am. But here's what I'm thinking, ladies and gentlemen. I need to get either a super cookie or a Thanos cookie. And then I can use that on the Ender Dragon. Or I could just go ahead and, here's a crazy idea, use the Ender Dragon cookie that I just got on the Ender Dragon. There's a lot of options, ladies and gentlemen, and a lot more cookies to find. Let's go ahead and eat ourselves a flash cookie just so we can 
punch our way to victory. Oh, I see a special cookie tree. Oh, there's no super cookies. I've been debated, ladies and gentlemen. I got clickbaited. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. Come on, super cookie. Okay, I got another uh, one that I can tame animals with. I'm slowly breaking Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. We're breaking the game. Cookies. Let's go. Yes, we got another diamond cookie. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, okay, we're gonna eat the diamond cookie here. What does this do? I turn into a diamond block and I get diamond skin. Oh my god. Okay, he's still doing a lot more damage than I thought he would be. And I get super speed too. It's not as fast as the flash, but I think I, I actually, I like turned into Skeppy. Oh, let's go. I found a bunch of wolves over here. Let's try to eat the taming cookie. Did I do it? Yo, they're my friends. I actually just tamed them. What? Wait, can they, can they attack for me? Yes, they can. Okay, so I think they're just like normal wolves. Fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, wolves cannot have cookies, so I can't feed them any of these bone cookies. I'm pretty sure it's because they have chocolate, so just, yeah, don't ever do that. But whenever I eat the taming cookie, it seems like it automatically tames anything around me that could be tamed. Oh, and I also see an enderman over there. Okay, I think maybe I go close and then I use the Thanos cookie. Let's try, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. Yo! Oh, it blew up all my wolves. And it blew up everything else. Wait, did I just get stuck? That was literally the worst possible thing that could have happened, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I, I don't I don't deserve the Thanos cookie. I didn't even get the Ender Pearls. It, they got blown up. That was just a waste. It's been about five minutes and I've been going around the jungle collecting all of the super colorful, amazing cookie things. And I think at this point I've collected every single cookie that there is to collect. So now we're gonna go ahead and break Minecraft with the custom cookies. Let's go ahead and make ourselves an upgraded iron pickaxe. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make sure that we tame this cat. Please tell me it works. D did I get it? Are you my kitty? No, okay. It maybe possibly only works on dogs. But now what we're gonna do is go ahead and eat the flash cookie and then I can literally just mine until I find diamonds or maybe some sort of cavern. Oh my goodness, this is so overpowered. Let's go. I broke my pick. I didn't even think of that. Well, I can at least mine my way with my fist. I'm not gonna collect anything useful, but that's okay. As long as I don't mine diamonds, that's, you know, it, it'll at least be a victory. Okay, I found quite a bit of iron right there and I also hear a cavern someplace over here. We have to make the most of all of these different cookies flip, dude. Okay, now we can go ahead and make a cobbler pickaxe. We'll grab all of this iron. We can finally go ahead and craft a furnace. And then I'm thinking we're gonna waste one of my super cookies to destroy everything on the other side of this wall. And yoink, bonk, bop, boop. Oh, we have two creepers. Bop, beep. Oh, hello there. You try to come from the sky? No. Super cookie man destroys you from the sky. No. Where are those sweet, sweet diamonds at, ladies and gentlemen? And we can officially craft ourselves an iron chest plate. And a shield, too. We'll upgrade our poop pickaxe to an actual iron pick. And now we can use our flash cookie to start mining for diamonds. Back up. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Why did that do so much damage? Oh! That's why you don't eat a flash cookie and dig straight down. Oh, would you Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We got a mob spawner. Go, 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 go. Get back. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay, we're going for diamond cookie, diamond skin. That'll make it so that it makes it really difficult for them to kill me. And I'm also made of diamonds. It looks really cool. Oh, we got a golden apple. Nice. What I really need, though, is diamonds. Even though my entire body's made out of diamonds right now, I still have yet to find any. Luckily, I have the flash cookie. And this time, I'm just going to be a tad bit more careful about it. This might be the most satisfying thing to ever do in Minecraft. Oh, yes. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I need to go ahead and upgrade my pickaxe because the flash cookie is great, but it also tears through any pickaxe you use. Yes. 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 Okay. Now we can use this to go straight to the end dimension. Uh, once I'm there, all I'll need to do is use the Thanos cookie or the super cookie, and then the ender dragon is dead. We made it back to the surface. Okay. Next up, we have to find... Oh, well, hello there. Okay. 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 We're going to engage this dude because we need ender pearls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Did we get one? Come on. Come on. Come on. Did we? No, we didn't drop one. That's okay, though, ladies and gentlemen. We should be able to use a lot of our cookies later on in order to get ender pearls super fast. Oh, I hear lava. Okay, it's right under here. That is the most awkward spot, but I think I can work with it. All we need to do is just get one water bucket and then I can use the flash cookie in order to quickly mine up all of the obsidian. There you go. That's right. Cool off lava. Ah, so satisfying. Okay, next up, we're going to eat the flash cookie and we actually need to be a little bit careful here because I'm not entirely sure if all the lava turned to water or I mean obsidian. So we're just going to try to boop it 
A boop, boop. Okay, okay. There we go. Please don't be lava. Please don't. Okay, okay. So we have a, a little bit of lava here. It's honestly not the worst thing in the world. We're able to mine it up really, really fast. I already have 16 obsidian. That should be enough. I just realized I do not have one piece of iron in order to get the flint and steel. So we're gonna need to go back down here. We can quickly mine up the one iron that is just coincidentally sitting right there for me. Plop down the furnace, get the coal in there, get the iron in there, and then we need a flint. Hey, Mr. Skeleton, you wouldn't happen to know where the flint is, do you? Nope. Okay, you die. Oh, wait a second, ladies and gentlemen. I just realized I can go ahead and use the chili cookie. Okay, we're gonna start building this thing. I always build it one too high, but today I won't. I stand corrected. Well, I mean, all right, it should work. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the chili cookie. There we go. Come on, please tell me this works. It's gonna burn me a little bit, but let's stand on it. Yo, it did. And now I'm just gonna run in the water because I don't feel like dying. Yo, what are these villagers talking about? Are they talking about me? Yo, shut up. And we're good. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. And we're going inside. I also just realized we haven't tested out the Ender Dragon cookie at all. I don't know if it can make me fly or if it just gives me some different dragon abilities and what is this like the worst spawn i've ever gotten in my life let's make sure we have the slimy cookie out just in case anything bad happens and i end up falling really deep i'm eating the slimy cookie now i don't really know what else to do we're gonna just gonna fall oh okay so if i don't press anything right oh my gosh please work okay so i can't press space as i'm falling i'm also starting to realize that i might be trapped here it looks like by the y value i'm super deep already so i need to kind of dig my way out and cool we made it slimy cookie do your thing Oh my gosh. I gotta be careful with that. Boink. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Boink. Oh, this is great. We need to keep bopping around until we find either a nether fortress or one of those blue biomes. I know that the endermen spawn there pretty frequently. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have at least the fortress. I see the blazes. I really wish one of these cookies made me fly because that would make this process 10 times easier. Oh my gosh, I just got sniped. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, okay. Uh, while we're here, we should probably eat the super cookie or at least have it at the ready. And also the chunky cookie. I am chunky. <laughs> I just I just realized too, it makes me like really slow. Oh wait, maybe that's the soul sand. I'm not really sure. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Zero blaze rods. There's a blaze spawner over here. Let's go ahead and eat our super cookie and let's get them. Oh baby, you guys do not know who you're messing with. It's super cookie, bro, Jack. Got him. We got our first blaze rod, ladies and gentlemen. But the only problem is I think I maybe ran out of super cookies. We still do have the Thanos cookie and the ender dragon cookie that I'm not really sure what it does. So hopefully that'll be enough. That should be enough, ladies and gentlemen. We have 21. Now we just need to get ourselves the Ender Eyes. Oh, I see our first Enderman. Hello, sir. Can I have the Pearl of Ender? Pretty, please. Thank you. Chop the knees, chop the knees. Yes, we got our first one. Only like 12 more to go. Okay, I managed to get 14. So let's go ahead and turn our blaze rods into blaze powder. And then we can combine that to get the eyes of the ender. Now, the only thing that we have to do is find the end dimension portal, go through, and then snap by eating a Thanos cookie. And hopefully that kills the ender dragon. Where we gotta go? Wait, are we here? Oh, no, wait a second. Okay, we gotta go this way. Okay, it's right underneath here. This is a good opportunity to use our flash cookie. I'm really nervous to dig straight down, so we're gonna do a little bit of a spirally staircase. Yep, this is definitely effective. Oh, I see it. Oh! No way. I'm eating my diamond cookie. <laughs> that was close. Wait, in the portal. It's literally right there. Oh, no way. Okay, we need to break this and not accidentally break the portal because I feel like I could do that with my current flash abilities where I break everything and anything. Let's see if we have enough i think we should okay let's go one two three four five six seven eight and before i do that let's go ahead and we're gonna get ourselves our thanos cookies before i jump in i'm eating a chunky cookie and also the dragon cookie i wonder what it does oh oh my gosh it actually just pushed me in oh uh, this is the worst spawn ever we need to we need to go up fast we've made it ladies and gentlemen okay luckily i lost my flash abilities i'm still back bro chunky but i need to get close enough to the ender dragon and then we're gonna try to eat the thanos cookie to kill it I need to somehow get its attention. I'm gonna try to shoot my own dragon balls. I don't even know. Wait, can I maybe hit the end crystals with these? Come on, come on. I did, but I don't think it does anything. I need to somehow get close to the ender dragon. I don't know if I can lure it down without taking out all of the end crystals. <laughs> Funniest way to fight. We're going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, no, it, it's so fast. It has to be close enough to me when I eat it in order for the Thanos effect to work. Okay, it's coming around now. I'm gonna try to eat it. Three, two, one. No, it killed everything else but that. I might need to build up to one of these obsidian pillars and then I can maybe get close enough. It's a risky business, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm a risky guy. Come on, you big ugly. Come on. 
No! What? Wait, where'd the Ender Dragon go? Wait, I still hear it, but I... Wait, it exploded. Where? I broke it. We just broke Minecraft. Wait, I'm actually really confused. What am I supposed to do now? The Ender Dragon is just gone. I don't see it. It exploded. Wait, wait, wait. Can we get like an instant replay? Because I swear it exploded. Wait, it just... It killed me? No way! Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't think I can kill an invisible ender dragon. So we're gonna wrap it up there. If you guys do wanna see some more Minecraft butt challenges, smash like with a cookie. Also hit that subscribe button. Lately, YouTube has been unsubbing people. So if you think that you're not subscribed, you should probably subscribe. That is gonna wrap it up. My name is Beckbro Cookie Man. I'm actually gonna go eat a lot of more cookies to make me feel better. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.